Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in for another Car Chronicles segment of the Tamra Tamu Collective where dreams have no filter. So in this segment, we are going to talk real briefly about how you cannot allow your attachment to how the unfolding of your manifestations of this new identity and this new life that you have decided to embrace do not let your attachment to the outcome cause you to overlook movement to overlook your manifestations unfolding here's what i mean by that when you decide you make a decision and you say this is who i want to be this is how i want my life to look this is how i want to feel in every day of my life, I know that I'm powerful, I know that I'm a cosmic being, you have to then allow for the unfolding to happen by letting go of your attachment of how you think the unfolding is going to look, all right? So, side note here, I want you to forget about what you see on social media platforms. I want you to forget about what you see on TV. The in, That may be a challenge to do because these platforms have become so much a part of our lives in nuanced ways, okay? And what you see, if your consciousness is not expanded, you will fall into a trance of how things are done or quote supposed to be be done or should be done in order to get to a certain outcome the reason i say this is because you may be seeing changes positive changes that are happening in your life you may be seeing some sort of increase in your life, increase in love, increase in healthy relationships, increase in money, increase in business, because you have accepted your desire, like I said, your desire for increase and expansion. So you're seeing the manifestation of your acceptance of your desire but because the unfolding is not happening in the way that you thought you're downplaying your manifestation or you may be ignoring it because of your attachment to how you think the unfolding is supposed to be Now, I'm not saying that what you're seeing right now is the ultimate manifestation, but you have to recognize it as movement. And in order for you to recognize it as movement, you cannot be attached to how the movement is supposed to occur. For example, I was just minding my own business, doing work, writing, working on another book, working on a program, working on more content. I met an individual who ended up being an art dealer, okay? Now, what now, the way that I met this person, I could not have put that together myself. All right? I was just being. I was in my essence. I wasn't trying to force anything to happen. All right? I could not have determine how I was going to meet an art dealer. I've been to galleries. I've been to art openings. I've had long conversations with with um, art directors. I've sent emails to art galleries myself, personal emails I've called. But on this occasion, this probably happened maybe three weeks ago. I don't know, but it was recent. He t- turns out this person is uh, is an art dealer. Now, I'm looking at that as movement, all right? Is that the manifestation? No, but it is a part of it. It is part of the universe putting components together because I have detached. Not only have I 
detached from how it's going to unfold. I've detached from the manifestation. We'll get to that in another episode, okay? But you have to not downplay what you're seeing right now. Let's say that you have a business and perhaps the business was what you would call slow. Maybe you weren't getting orders in, you know, whatever. And perhaps now you're starting to see orders come in. Orders come in here and there. That is movement. Look at that as movement. Recognize that, excuse me, as movement, all right? This is the beginning. What you're seeing is the beginning. Look at it as a sign after you have decided to take that inspired action, after you have decided, yes, this is what I want. This is how I want my business to grow. This is the business that I want, first of all. You know, I don't just want a national business. I want an international business. Why not? Why not? And so we just remember that any, when we're talking about signs, any sign that the universe will give you, it follows after you follow intuition, not before. Those movements that you see happening, it's after you've made a decision. It's after you've taken inspired action. And we're not putting labels on how big or how small the inspired action may be. But I just want to come through with this video to let you know, to remind you, just allow for the unfolding to happen by letting go of your attachment as to how the unfolding is going to look, all right? When you have detached from how the unfolding is going to happen, you really won't, you really don't need a sign. You won't be asking the universe for signs. Will the universe offer you that as a, okay, I got you, I see you. Yes. Are the signs wonderful? Yes. But you don't need them when you are just allowing. You're allowing for the unfolding to happen and you're allowing yourself to receive. All right. So that was just a real quick re reminder that I wanted to uh, share with you. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. I love you for it. All right. Un and until next time, cheers.